Death is but a door, time is but a window, I'll be back. That's what I say to all my prey. The voicemail dump truck on this Wednesday, you're hearing correct. This Wednesday, uh, November 8th, 2023. This is a call-in show. How are you doing? How is it going? How is your fall treating you? The one, the only, Bailey Myers. Oh, never better. Um, the weather is finally getting cold enough that I can wear sweaters. And I love that because I am a sweater person. So it's worked out really well for me so far. Wonderful, wonderful news. Jeff Grubb filling in for Jan Ochoa today, running the back end of the program. Thank you so much for doing that. How are you, sir? I'm um, stressing. There's a lot of knobs and things to twiddle with, and I'm twiddling. It's, uh, it's frightening. I got to say, though, also a sweater person. I am a big sweater. Sweatshirt, sweater. Sometimes I know the difference. Sometimes I don't. Uh, but I, in general, I'll wear either one if it's wintertime, if it's a little bit chilly. Okay, good. Uh, and finally, LARPing as a children's television host, Dan Reichert, how are you? <laughs> I think I would be okay at that, wouldn't I? At that sure, job? they're going to let you around as many children. I don't want them in the room. I just think as far as making the content, like when I stream, <laughs> the people watching aren't in the room, you know? Right. No, I think you're like, right. I don't I, want to be around children. I think I would just, their sensibilities of humor and, and things like that, I think I could speak to. Um, they're, they're big into poop. They think that's very yeah. funny. Oh, yeah. Got, well, got, they, they're right. Yeah, I got yeah. no notes for you, Dan. I think I'm on I board. I go to if like a friend of mine has a kid and they're old enough to laugh at stuff is I go for the armpit farts. And that usually that's pretty over with the kids. Uh, is that our kids still into that? I don't think farts, farts ever goes away. Like, okay. yeah, bo body yeah. sounds all around kids are still into. Yes. Always okay. funny. I can do that. I can do that. Um, the thing I said at the top of the show was a Ghostbusters 2 quote. Yes, and I say that because today a new Ghostbusters uh, movie teaser trailer was released. Um, and, you know. And nobody cares. I, and I watched it. And I, like Jan Ochoa said during our Alan Wake 2 stream today, I felt nothing. Yeah. Uh, and I. I Tropical Freeze trailer? Yeah. The yeah. It's, yeah I think it's, got, it's, it's got a new funky mode. Yeah. Colon tropical freeze. Yeah, I watched that too, and like I briefly was like, "Oh, that's what Dan Aykroyd looks like now," and that's about <laughs> the only reaction I had to it. Yeah, did you check it out, Bailey? I didn't watch it. I saw that they had released it, and I saw everyone saying, like, "Oh, it looks like they forgot this one's supposed to be funny too." And I went, "Not worth watching the trailer and getting sad about it." Yeah, I mean. I guess that's the one thing I did not like about after. Well, there's a lot of things I didn't like about afterlife, but I was fine with it. I wasn't mad at it, but it was notably unfunny. And I feel like Ghostbusters movies should be funny. Yeah, I think people look at these things that we get nostalgic over with this like air of like reverence. And when it's Ghostbusters, that's so stupid because that's just not never been the tone of the series. The reverence is misplaced. Make fart jokes. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, when I was your age, my Ghostbusters had practical effects and sure. they were fantastic. Like, no, like we should obviously be doing fun, great stuff. And you show me a trailer where like the first scene's New York and I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we're going back to the city. We're going we're gonna, to like bust some ghosts in Manhattan. And then it starts just not care and I, look it's fine i feel nothing i'm with i align with jano show i feel nothing yeah and maybe that's what has to happen it's it's what my my uh, my my wife my wife Hi. uh is a big uh ghostbusters fan it's one of her th favorite things from, from when she was a kid and she's not an online nerd who is like complaining constantly so when she sees these things and she's like it was better when it had practical effects it was b better when it was a comedy i'm like you're on to something here <laughs> yeah all oh. right yeah talk your <laughs> shit They've rebooted uh, Turtles several times, yeah. right? And, like, Turtles is, is yeah. a thing again, right? Yep. But the tone, as far as I understand, is still, like, comedic, fun, goofy Turtles. It's not like The Last of Us Turtles, you know? I mean, it's, there, yeah. like, there were some people who were upset with The Last Turtles because they made the, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles into teenagers instead of, like, oh, actual kind of adults. I thought that was... Me too. That was such oh, a great choice. Yeah. All those people are dead now who complained uh, yes, about that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, we can move on. Not wrong. We can move on. Yep. Sadly. Uh, yeah, I mean, but Dan, you, you, 
the, you're not after like things getting serious though, right? Like that. It, so it makes, I don't like that. Like I don't. I I grew up. Ghostbusters was 100 percent my thing as a kid. I was born in 1984. The real Ghostbusters, the movies. I absolutely sure, love them. Sure. But I saw the trailers for Aftermath, Afterlife, and Afterlife. I Afterlife, and like I saw them. I was like, this is in no way the tone. I'm like, I'm not that starved for nostalgia. Outside of the gaming realm, <laughs> I can't Time out. afford to be made Clip to look that. ridiculous. <laughs> Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> Sentence what my backdrop looked like. Clip that. In gaming, yeah, fucking put it in my veins. But as far as the cartoons I watched, I don't necessarily need that to be like, yeah, the super reverent thing, like Bailey said, where it's like, oh, it's the Ecto One. Oh, oh my God. It's just like, no, it's just, it's the goofy car that the ghost men go and bust the silly ghosts in. Like, I don't need that with my cartoons. Uh, all right. I don't, I don't think I understand your point, but uh, I don't like the reverence thing. I don't. I don't like like the tone of Afterlife. I yes. don't like. That. I'm, I'm with. I'm 100 percent Dan on this. Like yes. Afterlife, I tried watching it, and I didn't yeah. come away with like oh, I hate this. They ruined my childhood. Yeah. It's just like yeah, oh, what? Are, I don't get what you guys are going for. I don't. This is not for me. That's fu that's fine. But, but it I did is not for get you. it. Okay, here's the thing. Well, they well, think I it's will for me, add but to they that. Don't get it. Yeah. Right. It is for you. And I would even be as charitable to say that Afterlife did have moments that were clearly for us, right? They weren't for fucking 11-year-olds. They were very clearly for us moments. I didn't think it was all, like, sort of emotionless. But, like, I, f I think I just, I just found I, that movie was really weird. Right? Like, I think it was just weird. And that's, that's where we just have to leave it. Like it just, it was like a, it was just like a strange thing that really tried to tick a lot of boxes. And at the end of the day was just weird. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I haven't even watched this new trailer yet and I'm, I'm fine. Whatever. I, I mean, you know, the kids have gotten into the real Ghostbusters cartoon. That's been fun. Really? Yeah. Uh, Cause um, Good show. yeah, again, my, where's that? Where's that on? Uh, that we're on? mostly watching it on YouTube, just like there's some random uploads here and there. Um, but I think uh, I think all of it's on archive.org. But you can like buy those seasons uh, or whatever. I wonder if it's on Crackle. Which one's Sony? Which one? Uh, yeah, is it on Crackle? That sounds like a Sony. Is that Sony? Yeah. Crackle? That used to be. Crackle? I don't. Crackle's a real That's thing anymore. Sony own Joe Dirt too, a Crackle original. They Beautiful do. Loser. Yes. Uh, Sony Motion Pictures Joe Dirt two on uh, exclusive to Crackle. Yes. Wow. I gotta get my hands on that. Yeah, you know. Uh, but, but yeah, like uh, the Ghostbusters cartoon that was like J. Michael Straczynski, like the really renowned sci-fi writer, writing most of those episodes. And it's like, oh yeah, that's why this thing was actually pretty solid in terms of quality. Those were so. fun. Yeah, they were fun man. Um, what else is going on in your world, I, uh, uh, Bailey Myers? I, I, well, okay, you're, oh, sorry, no, Jeff. good Bailey. No, I see. Your She's the guest. Oh, I get no. it. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine, Jeff. You you talk about what's going on in your world. I replaced the water heater. Uh, oh my god! Congratulations. You did? Oh, yeah, you did. I did. Yes. Well, the you, alternative you, was twenty seven hundred dollars. I saved two thousand dollars by doing it myself. Wait so. a minute. I might need you to do something when you get here because there's a tub upstairs that doesn't get hot and we don't know why Let's and we don't know. Go. Okay. Wait. No. If it's just one tub that doesn't get hot. <laughs> that that actually, like I heard that, that problem. Maybe the like, tub is haunted. Yeah. Have you considered ghosts? Is Everything pink slime coming out of it? All the other stuff gets hot. It's just this one tub, and yeah, I think the adjacent shower does not get hot no matter how long Question. you run it. Yes. Is it ghosts like um? Is it two separate hot and cold knobs? I think so. And when you turn on the hot knob, water comes out. Yeah. It just doesn't, and it'll be hot for a little bit. Oh, that's and then above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's lukewarm at best, basically. Huh? That's weird, Grub. What do you think? Oh, I have no idea. I'll go and look at it, and I'll be like, "Yep, yeah, this is, these are some pipes, all right." This, uh, this is a Vinny question, okay? Yeah, I see. this is definitely yes, a Vinny yes. question. Um, okay. I just I followed some YouTube stuff, and uh, I I took I still have the broken one. I got to get rid of it, but um, wait, where'd you get it? From uh, like a plumbing from from like Lowe's. wholesaler? I went to Lowe's. Lowe's. They got uh, so. Oh, I didn't know you could buy a water heater. Yeah, they, they, have, they, have a, they have water heater and they have a like section. It's just like water heater accoutrement, like just a whole yeah. bunch of bullshit you're going to need for this. And I went there and I bought all the stuff I saw in the video and came back and uh, broke one thing in the process. So I had to make one trip back to get a, a, another. It was a compression uh, nut. And you had to use this to, to attach the hose. And I like misformed the first one. And I'm like, oh, that's it. I fucked it up. Now I'm going to have to go get someone in here for $2,700. But I'm like, no, I'll just keep trying. And I got another one, fixed it. And it's not leaking anymore. It's nice. It's a nice new water heater. I think the one we had was as old as the house. But uh, yeah, it, it was it was like 
a little bit harrowing, but once you get started and it's like, oh, it's just connecting tubes. I do this sure. with the, I was doing this with CRTs and VCRs when I was three years old. Uh, it's this is the same thing. So, it so out. I'm assuming this is an electric heater. Yes, yes, very good point. Because you would need a um, like permits and stuff to work with gas. Yeah. So I, I was going to say, that like, my man's like, not. Yeah, you okay. no way, no fucking way was I going to mess with gas. Yeah, um, and there's no way Dan knows whether his is or not. So you're I'm just picturing you're talking there. about tubes, and I'm like, I've done the like hacking sequences in Bioshock, and like oh, yeah. you know, I pretty could, much that I rotate stuff and put it together. Yeah, pipe dream. It's it just pipe dream. Yeah. I, I, okay. I was that, that was the scariest part is I had to cut a, a tube or, or like a, a copper pipe. And so I had the little Ooh, tool. Oh, scary. Yes, I had the tool yeah. and it's just like. Sparks. It, yeah, you just have this little thing that go like goes around and it's got a pizza, cut, a pizza cutter thing and you have a screw it in to make it real tight and you go around and you make it tighter and then you go around and you make it tighter and you go around and it pops right off and it's like, oh my God, that's horrifying even though it's what exactly what I was trying to do. But yeah, it, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's impressive, man. That is a big project. Yeah, what are you going to say, Bailey? Oh, I I've done plumbing as well recently. I was playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I mean that's all plumbers it's, have to do simulator. now to get certified. Yeah. They yeah. just they just complete that game. It is what gave yeah. me the confidence to tackle the, the project. Yes. <laughs> mm. Wow, I'm I'm in awe. I'm 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 in admiration awe uh, of you, Jeff Grubb. That is a big boy project. You did it. I'm impressed. You saved all the money, and now money. you, and now you can use that money, you know, on more fake uh, cigarettes and whatnot, yeah, or whatever it is all right, you need there to we buy. Go. You know, he's Listen, always got one within arm reach. It sounds difficult, but I had to put up with that talking flower, and that guy sucks shit. You were the first person I've heard yeah. say that. that I love the flower. Me? Yes, I love the flower. The flower's kind of cool, Bailey. State your case. Is he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a condescending dickhead, well, and yeah. he's all up in my business yeah. all the time, <laughs> and I hope he fucking dies. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Do you think in the yeah. next three years that flower becomes enough of a thing where uh, it has an actual name? In yeah. Mario Kart, like, I think it's going to be in Smash. Smash. I think it's going to be the next Smash Brothers. Yeah, he does not. have a name. His name is Tom. Everyone knows that. If you watched and played that game carefully, you would know that's already canon. Bailey. Is it actually said in the game? No, but I kind of just like want it to be okay. Tommy. Like, can you just be Tommy? Yeah. I'd appreciate that. Bailey, I want you to make uh, a video essay on why okay. you hate the flower, Tommy the flower. I don't think there's I don't think there's enough room for an essay for that. It's mostly me saying I don't want that thing talking to me. I hope it dies. <laughs> you can turn it off. You can turn it off. Have you, you turned the Russian? Mm -hmm. It's got bad vibes. I think. <laughs> I, th I think I understand where you're coming from, especially front loaded, like like from that perspective. Like you're just like, what's this fucking thing? Is it is it the only thing that's gonna have an actual voice this entire game? Like it talks gonna... like an adult human man. Yeah, I, I, I know. I don't I get why a woman a hates it when game. a man yells at them when she's just trying to walk down the street in Mario. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense he's, to me. He's like. <laughs> Are you missing something? I don't know. Is there a is there weed killer anywhere? Because <laughs> it, it, it me to that, and that's the first helpful thing you've ever fucking said to me. I do wish <gasps> it, it said like even it does say some condescending things, but yeah, I do wish it got a little more. I, it got, I wish it got spicier. If I'm being honest, like I yeah, go, you really go fuck yourself. Risks. Oh, I'm a yeah. flower. <laughs> what? What am I? Chop liver? You keep walking by? You know. That kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, if it had a little bit of an attitude, maybe I'd like it more. But instead, it's like helpful. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, if it was Danny DeVito, that'd be that would rule too. If the flower was Danny DeVito. Oh yeah, obviously I would like I would like that. That sounds uh, good to me. Yeah. Um, seven oh seven exit flu. Guess what? That's our phone number. Leave us uh, a voicemail, and we'll play them. Maybe today. We're going to kick things off with our special guest of honor, Bailey Myers. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. What a big day. <laughs> um, big moment. Big moment. Oh, I think I'm going to go with macaroni and cheese because I'm hungry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Let me, let me fix it real quick. They're hearing it. We're not. And then let me start it over. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I 
I fight this every, Bonk can attest to this. Anytime we're at a restaurant, it's a problem if macaroni and cheese is on the menu because no matter where we are or what their specialty is or if macaroni and cheese is only on the kids' menu, I'm only no, going to. No, I don't to... think anyone heard the audio. Yeah, it, it, okay, so yeah, it's okay. My bad. It'll be fixed for the next one. He just asked, <laughs> why is mac and cheese with hot dogs uh, uh, still his favorite food when he has access to Five Guys and Chipotle? Yeah, it's, I was at a, a sushi place uh, last weekend, and they had macaroni and cheese on the menu, and I had to like fight the urge to get. I was like, okay, let's be an adult, let's get the poke bowl, let's get sushi <laughs> instead of the mac and cheese. But I was this close to getting it. I what kind of fucking sushi place has mac and cheese? Yeah, right. <laughs> what is that? The gas my station. Question. What are what you, what you talking mean? about? <laughs> place in a mall near a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> this place sounds incredible. I got to be honest. How was the mac and cheese, Dan? Did you get it? No, I got the Poke Bowl, and then I watched the four-hour Scorsese movie. But I would have been much more full if I ate that big vat of macaroni and cheese. How was I the just... Poke Bowl? Pretty good. I like yeah, Poke that Bowl. Yeah, that shit's good. Here <laughs> it turns out, too. It's a lot better for you. I just can't. Yeah, I, I, I kind of just have to, like... Uh, leave myself out of this conversation. I, I, I can't. I can't speak to this. I, I, I can't help anybody. Ba Bagler, do you consider yourself a fancy boy? No, but I'm finding that maybe <laughs> I am. <laughs> you know, maybe Mister Fucking a T-shirt and jeans and a hat guy is somehow Mister <laughs> Fancy Guy. <laughs> Uh, maybe so that's relative. what it is. Yeah, it's all relative. Like, compared like, to I us. don't get it. Like, you know, I, I may or maybe I just hang out with people who are so far on the other side of the spectrum <laughs> that it fucking converts me into this like elitist motherfucker. I don't I mean, know. Everyone's got their problems <laughs> though. Like, I, I would say you are, I don't, I'm not going to say elitist, but you know, you are a fancy guy when it comes to craft brewery stuff, uh, to keyboards. Like, you are, uh, you, you have a discerning eye. You have a very adult mind when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> An adult fancy mind. lad. <laughs> he consuming livers and trifles. You what know, pleasant that? mac and cheese. An adult. Mind? <laughs> what is adult that? Mind, I would say, yeah. <laughs> I, the adult mind thing I, uh, is a weird phrase. You, but... feel, you feel like a grown up. I'll, I'll say that. Well, I think, uh, no, well, I think I you're really afraid don't. of feeling like, uh, um, God, not like a kid. What is it? Like, because it, it, uh, I, I know this urge of like, oh, that's something an idiot would be into, and I don't want to be an <laughs> idiot, so I'm not going to have that. And I, I, but I don't like a lot of times I'm like, well, what if I did get into that? And I'm like, well, this is great. This is fun. Give me more mac and cheese. Uh, so I, I, I think I, I'm a reveler. I revel in it. Give me all yeah. the, all your garbage. Uh, Cause that's where all the fun stuff is. Uh, yeah. But I think garbage, I think backlog is just, no, that's, it is rep repel oh. repellent to you. Here's the thing with Bacalar is that like, you know, I, I've worked in games for a long time and it's an industry where it's a bunch of, you know, man children, a bunch of arrested development, a bunch mm -hmm. of guys collecting Mario bullshit. <laughs> and Bacalar seems like an adult man. Yes. And I feel like that is kind of a rarity in this industry. It's exactly. Like he seems like a grown up and uh, everyone else I know in this industry feels like a kid, myself included. That's you know? right. You guys know mac and cheese can also be fancy, right? Like oh, just, be, course. just because just because yeah, you got to put hot dogs in it. Yeah. On that note, Bonk still gives me shit because uh, we went to a nice seafood place in Boston once and I ordered the lobster mac and cheese which was like market priced or whatever, so it was like $45 mac and cheese and I ate around the lobster and ate all the macaroni. Yeah, <laughs> that I don't, is think, just like, I don't I, think lobster I, should be in mac and cheese. That's my hot take. I think mac it's a waste of lobster. Lo yeah, mac and cheese is better without the lobster in it and lobster is better without being in mac and cheese. Yeah, like lobster is good, but if it's like next to macaroni and cheese, I'm going to pick the mac and cheese every time, you know? Okay, that's. I don't think that's what Bailey's saying. Okay. <laughs> I think what Bailey's saying is like lobster's too good for mac and cheese. I, I also don't think the flavors work together. I just yeah, I don't like, think fish should be in cheese. I, sure, it's besides like a shrimp parmesan, but like no, I don't like that either. All right, I, it's not my bad. favorite. It's not my favorite either. Uh, record, I find lobster mac and cheese to be good, but it's the same reason I don't eat crust on pizza unless it's stuffed crust. It's because you only have there's a finite amount of space in your stomach before you get full. I like crust. <laughs> crust is good, but if there is other pizza with cheese and sauce in front of me, I'm going to go to that first, and then if I'm still hungry, I will get to the crust. Man, I don't Same even think about it that much. I don't think about yeah, it that I'm, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, and you're also lot. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's just yeah. I prioritize. I just, you know, meant to, like compartmentalize and prioritize. 
Not many foods can tell a story. Not many foods have chapters where a slice of pizza has yeah, most three distinct jazz. acts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's three distinct acts of pizza. <laughs> first, you get that first pointy bite where you're like, ah, look at me. I'm going in. Here we go. <laughs> then you get the, the meat and potatoes of the meal, right? Where you're like, oh, we're making our way. And then there's a fucking finale. There's a finale to pizza where it's like this crust event. And it's really the cool. The crust event. <laughs> well, and it's crazy. Now, if you get stuffed crust, it just throws everything on its head because then it turns crust into no, like a ch- no a one party. is serious <laughs> about stuffed crust. Oh, I couldn't no, be crust. more serious no. about stuffed okay, crust. I yeah, love stuffed crust. Come yes. on. Normal I, crust is a fine chore. It's a chore you people. don't... Crust is a chore you don't mind doing too much unless it's stuffed crust and then it's the main event, it's the dessert, it's the reason you came there in the first place. I love right. crust no matter what, but stuffed crust, like, there are very few things I'm more serious about than stuffed crust. Yes. Like, I, yes. I, it's like... We're getting pizza. All right, we're, we're getting the place that has stuffed crust, right? And yeah. my wife's like, "Of course, I'm not in." I'm not but a, like, a, where a is savage. that readily? Av- I feel like I would have to actively search for stuffed crust around here. Pizza yeah. Hut. They, I think they have a patent. Papa John's. No, other pizza places. Hut, other places have but the patents Domino's. up by now because stuffed crust is more than twenty years old. So I, I, you, I get a lot of Domino's. I've had a bunch of Papa John's, and like they, they never have stuffed crust. Uh, I think I, I got a Domino stuffed crust recently. I, 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 I've what? had it from not Pizza Hut for sure. I've definitely had it from not Pizza. Yeah, DiGiorno's has got stuffed crust in the freezer section right now. So yeah, is, is stuffed crust public domain now? I, well, I mean, you, a patent can only be twenty years, and I know we had stuffed crust more than twenty years ago. Okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah Papa John's has stuffed crust right now. Yeah. 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 Hey, Jacob Gregg, Jets Turbo Turbo Crust from yeah Jets Pizza. Yeah, give me that stuff. That stuff's really good. But still, if it's it's not stuffed, give me the cheese in there. Did I tell you guys about this place near me that opened up called Pasta Ramen? Pasta no. Ramen. What is that? No. It's a Japanese Italian place. Ooh, oh, that sounds fantastic. Can you get ramen Alfredo? Uh. Maybe like as a special, it's impossible to get a reservation. Can and you I get lo mein for... noodles on a pizza? No, but you can do so. Like I'm looking at the menu now. One of the the item is chicken katsu, and it's chicken parm shoyo broth. So they must make it like a ramen chicken parm kind what of situation. The fuck? Dude, fuck, that sounds I, so good. Yeah, I heard of a place around here. I might want to try this weekend where it's like pizza, but it's like. Indian food style, so it's like non-style crust, and then it's like tikka masala type flavors and things like that ooh, on a pizza. Ooh, it, that sounds Grub, good. I can also have, wait, look, Grub, when you come here next weekend, we got Taco Bell nuggets and we got tikka masala pizza. Yeah, oh my god, me. that sounds like a good day of eating. Holy yes. shit, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that you're well, sending me. That yeah. you're gonna send me. <laughs> hey, hey, you you pay for it, I'll do it. I'll pay you back. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the least you can do, right? You know, for me, we're buddies, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll okay, send you cool. my Venmo. That works. Um, sick. There is a, All right. There What's is. A, I will say really fast. There is a place in Los Angeles called like Indie Mex Cuisine, which is Indian and Mexican, and even Ooh, they don't seem good. that conf. I'm like, like it is good, but like on the sign out front it says like it's good just trust us yeah I'm like guys no i love that i love that energy of like listen we are not even sure why this works and you know it, it sounds fucked up but have a tikka masala burrito and tell me it doesn't exactly at any <laughs> moment this could be this could just go bad we don't know it's gonna blow up in our faces <laughs> but right now it's still pretty fucking good i love that that's the place that that, that exact energy is what i want from when i'm eating a tikka masala burrito sounds incredible. Sounds incredible. Yeah, I'd fuck, I'd fuck with yeah. that in a heartbeat. I think I did have a tikka masala burrito. There was a, uh, at PAX East forever ago, there was like this Boston burrito company uh, that was trying to get on the Chipotle craze, but their thing was all of their burritos were just different cuisines put into burritos. Yeah, sure. And I, and I got, yeah, and it was it was really good, but then, you know, I was in Boston, so they were like, ah, this Ooh. is not white enough for me. That reminds me of that fun game we played a couple of years ago where it's like, what's the worst thing that could be in a burrito? Do you all want to go around the room and just do one of those real quick? Filled uh, with sour cream. Just like sour, sour cream? cream? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't Ooh. just put sour cream in a burrito. No, no, but, but Bailey, the, the exercise is to uh, put the, well, like, what's the worst what? possible burrito? Like, you get a burrito, it's a mystery okay. burrito, you cut mm-hmm. it open, and, like, you know, just shrimp tails come out. You know, something like that. Oh, God. Uh, like, I know that's up your alley, but... Okay, you know. okay so you are... Ex- what, what are you expecting? Are you expecting a normal no. burrito? No, you know that this is... It's just... What's just the worst thing that could pop out? What's the worst thing that'll pop out? Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like, like three 
whole raw carrots would be really a live weird. mouse. <laughs> a live mouse is pretty good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, ah, yeah, that, but not as bad yeah. as carrots, but it's pretty good. The bad. carrots is I like I guess a dead yeah. mouse is worse. A live mouse is kind of cute. Yeah, a dead mouse yeah. is a pretty good DJ, but I don't yeah, know if I want to eat them. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sorry. The, I'm poor. I can't help myself. It's your moan sound effect. Um, <laughs> hmm. I don't have a new one since my last one. Dan, you just said sour cream. I feel like that's like kind of mayonnaise. Is, is it could also just be mayonnaise. Um, I'll say like um, <laughs> hmm. It's got to be edible. Like it can't just be like oh, and Windex came out of it. It's got to be like something you could eat if you know like if you had to so the live mouse thing while adorable i feel like you can still still not like might you not can play. still eat it i guess yeah you just shouldn't you just shouldn't um i was thinking like a bunch of like turkey gravy turkey uh, gravy interesting just, just oozing Goose out paste. of that burrito Huh? Tooth toothpaste would be bad. Oh, toothpaste would be real toothpaste rough. Toothpaste would be bad. Yeah. yeah, I guess that sort of is edible. We'll let that. We'll, we'll allow it. Yeah. Wet cat food. I saw in the chat. That would be fucked. That'd be <laughs> yes, fucked up. That would be bad. That'd be real fucked up. I mean, get you your can't protein, really eat but... toothpaste. You're not supposed to. That's correct. Yeah, yeah that is correct. Edible. Dan Reichert, we turn to you for the next voicemail. Let's go to Dragula. It's nice. What's up, Dumpers? Mike Austin here. I um, I can't stop listening to Rob Zombie's Dracula. Mm -hmm. uh, please help. Uh, tell me of songs that you can't stop, couldn't stop listening to, even though you've never listened to that artist before. I literally have never listened to Rob Zombie until this week, and now I can't stop listening to just Dracula. Bye. That's an interesting question. I like that yeah. question. Thank you, caller. That's also a good song. And yes. um, there's a reason it was in every video game for a yeah. six year period. Yeah. And I think like you should celebrate Mr. Zombie's uh, entire catalog. Yeah, I sure. Think, like there's there's good songs all over the place there. Um, yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, I think, need to look at my Spotify. Yeah, I was see. just I just opened up my music .youtube .com. I um, okay, so. I uh, songs have been coming back into my rotation. This might be the best I'll have right now. And the one I'm listening to a ton, and I think it is because it's been in a commercial recently, is Seed 2.0 by The Roots. Oh, I remember uh, that. And That's a good drum song. Yeah, and I'm just really, for the first time, listening to the lyrics. Oh, boy. And this... it's, it's oh, boy. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I, was, this... I was like, maybe this is a song I could sing at karaoke. And I'm like, that's way too suggestive. He's This entire song's just about come. I can't sing I can't sing this in public. Uh, it's a very good well, song, though. And I'm like, if, if I'm drunk fits. enough, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I fully endorse that. Great song. What, what year is that? Probably like, oh... Yeah, like oh four. Yeah, I was gonna oh four to oh six. Yeah, good, uh, good, good, good. A period lot of for music, music was about come back then. Yeah, it was the come era. It used yeah. to be about the come. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> I I also still can't stop listening to the uh, the cruise and blast theme song. It's my um. That's very good. It's yeah. been my alarm for several years now, and I'm still not sick of it. I feel like my answer is basically just like all of those '80s bands that had like one good song. Sure. Like there's so many of those, um, something more contemporary. I don't, I don't know, Dan or, or Bailey, I'm looking you, through here. I, I'm looking for good ones. I feel like, I feel like they probably have a lot other good stuff, but like living color. The only song I know is cult of personality. Yeah. And that's a great, mm. great song. And I've never really like gone beyond that and heard anything else. Well, you just love the wrestler it's associated with most. Oh, mostly. like that song before. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Also, yes. The, my, my undying love of that wrestler. Yes, yes exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just listened to the entirety of that new Olivia Rodrigo album because I'm going through a lot right now. But I'm not really a fan of hers. I just she's really connecting with my heart in this moment. What's a uh, what's a Olivia, Olivia Rodrigo song that I might know if I've been on TikTok? Um, brutal. I don't know. Okay. I don't really listen to her. Okay. I've yeah. Just, okay. I'm asking the wrong person. How bad? Yeah. I just. I you know, she's, she, I really, sometimes, you know, you feel like a teenager and you want to listen to a teenager's angst and you're like, why do I still relate to this? And it's great. 
It's really who's, good. It's good for the... you. It's good for everyone. Uh-huh. It's good for my roommates who really love it. <laughs> there are there's a lot of like like little emo artists now or like just single <laughs> acts that like doing little sad songs, right? They're little in terms of stature. Or they're little in terms of popularity. Which one do you mean there? Uh, I mean young. Okay. I don't mean okay. size. I just mean young, right? Like um, uh, like Lana Del Rey's like that, right? I mean, she's an adult. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, think, but you know what? Yeah, but like, I don't think. No, I don't think any of that is. is she even emo? She isn't. I just feel like all of her nah. songs are just sort of like sad. <laughs> like just well, there's like a sad. lot to be sad about. No, I get it. Again, really I'm not. I'm not using that. God, I'm not. Yeah, and just is because Billie not, Eilish emo. No. no. And, and she's again, emotional. Closer are, than Lana Del Rey. Yeah, sure. fair. And I'm using it to describe not like what we grew up with, with like the you know the. With the the boys of the world, yeah. or the my chems of the world, rather. Um, you know, they can't all be yellow card, but it, yeah. it is what it is. It was a I guess a lot of I bet you, era. I bet you a lot of people would say that Ocean Avenue song is the only song they listen to by yellow card, which would make they a lot of sense. Would be fools for that. I'm with you. You're preachers of the choir. Um, I actually got to. Uh, who doesn't love those. an electric violin? Yeah, I, uh, they're they're very lovely people. I did get that uh, la 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 stung from that baby no money stuck in my head for about a month uh, earlier this year. Baby uh, no money. Yeah. Uh, la 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 oh, la la la. I know baby no money. I don't. I don't want to criticize, but most babies don't have money. Yeah, I don't. Get, he's not standing out from the crowd with that name, right? No. All, ba- all babies are poor. I yeah. know <laughs> when Minotti was a baby, he had like a, a thick wall. Well, yeah, he's yeah, the doctor, golden pacifier. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. he came out and they just handed him on 50. Yeah. His parents <laughs> loved him. Yeah. 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 Here's a little money for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Most people get the umbilical <laughs> cord cut. He was getting a manicure, wasn't <laughs> yeah. he? Yeah. Uh, I'm in a really big... I, I'm bringing this up and I don't care. Like, I know I'm actively walking into the fire. I don't give a shit. Oh, here we go. I'm in a... I'm in a 18 month long feud with my wife over Taylor Swift. Um, yeah. Like, I have nothing against Taylor Swift. I the adult mind fine. at work, right, Dan Riker? <laughs> I think she's perfectly fine. Isn't I, it? I, is, wait, is Taylor Swift big with the kids or is it like old? Like, cause she's been around a long time, right? Taylor yeah. Swift is big with everyone. But she's, she's big like, with she's like Earth, Pokemon. Man. She becomes popular she, with the next generation over and over and over again. So, if you went to a high school, kids would know who Taylor Swift is. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, like, I. I just can't speak after that question. I know, no, I know she's extremely she's popular. She's literally the most popular person on earth. Yes, no, that I, is, I, I that believe that. I fully yes. believe that. And ben Hansen has told me, like, he saw the movie and he was, a, I, yeah, it seems like she's very, very legitimately big right now. Uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't God, back not even being like uh, facetious there or, or overstating it. She literally is the most famous person on earth yeah, right now. I like, believe not that. even yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fuck, Dan. You, you say something like that and you torpedo an entire train well, of okay. You and your no. wife are having an yeah, argument yeah, yeah, for yeah. a year and a half. Bakar, yeah. you have to explain that. You are so going I, to get swatted if you do not speak carefully here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I'm not trying to troll her, right? I'm not. I, but I like... Taylor Swift I, or your wife? My wife. My okay. wife. My uh, wife. <laughs> I really like uh, Lady Gaga. When I guess she's not really making a lot of new music, but like I really love the prime of Lady Gaga. And I'm always like, you know, she loves Taylor Swift and that's great. I, I just don't find like her stuff that as interesting. Right. And, um, you know, I'm just sort of like, I prefer Lady Gaga and I don't mean to compare them because they're really not, they're just, there's really, but every time she's on the radio, you say, "Eh, I prefer Lady Gaga. (laughs) And I gotta do it. weird. (laughs) This instinct to pit women against again. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm not do right, and I'm just like yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. And it's 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 more of just like I guess maybe the genre or not even. Where like I forget how this conversation started. Um, I really like Billie Eilish as well. Like we're looking for that sound, right? Like that sort of music, or whatever. And I just like you know, I just kind of find myself eating a lot of shit with her. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm doing this on purpose. If I'm like actively seeking out the ch- like the the challenge, you're a glutton actively... for punishment. Yeah, you think that's what I'm doing, right? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, your wife is fully Team Swifty, is what you're saying here. It, no, she likes everyone. It's not even that. I'm just doing this thing where like I only say to her 
<laughs> like it doesn't matter whatever it is i'm just like yeah i'm just i don't find that interesting uh, that do you, do you tell that her that it doesn't rank on the back of our importance scale oh no she's definitely important oh. but like <laughs> What, what do you think I want to <laughs> sentence myself to death here? But I'm like, come on. Uh, I'm not trying to do that. I just look like I, I know she's incredibly popular. I just don't find her music that interesting. That's it. Yeah, I don't think about her that often. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's, you know, um, and I know people who are of my age, of the same kind of person. They love her music. I, I like, just, I don't know. I, I know somebody. Uh, his name's Jana Troa, big big Swift fan. So, loves uh, Taylor Swift. The big Swifty, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Loves. Like, that's that's the connection that Jan and my wife have. That's what, like, connects them. I wish Taylor... <laughs> this, um, this is so stupid. I wish Taylor Swift was bigger about t uh, 15 years ago so that when uh, John Kerry was running, we could make Swift boat re references about her. I'm sorry, everybody. I could not get that out of my wow. head until I said it out loud. Uh, so we can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was also that's the really big that's 15 response. years ago. Not as like, big as she is now. No, that no, booze. No, thank no you. one's as big as she is now. But <sighs> she was Grug. not not wow. big. I, it's a cry I for help. I to her more 15 years ago than I do now. It's yeah. I listen, it's a cry for help. Hey, do you have any material about like a Dukakis in a tank or anything? I, any good I, I, I literally <laughs> probably think about Ross Perot once a day, Dan. Okay. So yeah. That was, that was that was for an audience of like seven. No, negative. <laughs> Just me. Any tomato stuff? <laughs> yeah. I love how like Dan. That's the one thing you picked up on. <laughs> I subscribed to Mad Magazine before I. Uh, all I know about politics my entire life is just from Mad Magazine from like 1989 to 1997. Man, I. You know what I bought when I was a kid? I was a child and I bought Al Franken's book. Uh, Rush Limbaugh is a big fat idiot right. and other observations. I had no idea who Rush Limbaugh was. I had no idea what politics were. I think I just thought it was funny that a book had big fat idiot in the title. And I read <laughs> the entire political book about Rush Limbaugh when I was like 13. Do you remember any of it? No. Of course. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Did you need to ask that question? <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, Dan, Dan Quell couldn't spell potato. That's another thing I think about once a day as well. So he didn't eat on the end. He didn't eat. Dan Quell's just yeah. got a fun name. Yeah, remember, remember when that was like the worst the policy yeah. could do? Yeah. <laughs> Is he, he's got to be alive. Can we get him on the dump truck? Yeah, probably. Sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. He's probably ninety. The dump truck. Somebody tweet to him. All right, I'm, I'll look into it. <laughs> I something about this episode not rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> We'll, we'll get out of it. We'll be okay because Jeff Grubb's going to pick the next voicemail. We're not going to be okay. Uh, all right. The vibes are off. I'm going to stop listening. I'm yeah. Listening. <laughs> all right. Let's go with Exit the Flu. Hi, Dumpers. I'm sick. I have the flu. Exit, your phone number is 707 Exit Flu. I was wondering if you guys could tell me how to exit the flu. How do I help? How do I feel better? Love you guys. Bye. Love, oh, you, love too. you too. Hope you feel he better. He said we could do it oh, if we my bad. Hang on. He said we. No, no, no. <laughs> well, thanks for that teaser. <laughs> um, you should man. eat a bowl of matzo ball soup, caller. That fixes me anytime I'm sick in any way. Matzo ball soup. It's a cure. Is, is that stolen valor though? If I eat matzo ball soup, no. No, you're allowed um, to consume our foods. All right. Yeah, we'll let you have that. We'll Thank let you, you have just that. Okay. All right. Fair you can't enough. have any of the rest of it. I'm going to go hide my dreidels now. You can be funny once a week. Yeah, okay, fair um, enough. Yeah, I, so like when I'm sick, I guess with the flu, I can taste stuff. Whenever I have a cold, I can't taste anything. Yeah. And um, a soup doesn't do anything. It's just like a hot vessel, right? Yeah. Um, your point? I, I love matzo soup <laughs> so much as well. <laughs> um, and I adore it. So I, I fully endorse Bailey's Remedy. Does anyone else have any... I mean, he called the exit flu hotline. I think just the, that act alone is going to make you feel a lot better because it has the words exit flu right in there. So you should be tip top by the time you're hearing this. And uh, congratulations. You're welcome. Yeah, just, I'm glad you feel better. I chug a ton of water. And then if you take like a long, hot shower, I find that, that kind of loosens some stuff up in this region. Oh, yeah. So sure. That's just like the mm -hmm. soup on the outside, right? Yes. I get the, I get soupy in here. Shower? Yeah. Shower mm -hmm. is just outside soup? Yeah, shower That's is it. human soup. Cool. Everyone knows that. Come okay. on. Um, 
just sleep as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Go to bed. Have weird dreams. Right? Oh my God. Isn't that yeah. the strangest part of being ill? Yeah. When it your the... brain is sick, it's like, I don't know. What do you want to watch? And it just yeah. puts on the weirdest thing it can think of. <laughs> is, it, is your brain too hot and it's like malfunctioning? Is that what that is? Because it's like a fever dream, right? That's what they're called, fever dreams. And so your brain is running hot and it's just like, okay, we can't control ourselves. We're just going to show you the weirdest shit you've ever yeah. thought about. It's because your like brain is. Twilight Zone episode. Mm hmm. Your brain's outsourcing all of its uh, normal uh, content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. It's like I, I got a lot to work on. I gotta, I gotta bring this body temperature back to normal. Animators gotta, in, in Singapore who are going to be doing the work for us. We'll send that to just, your brain. Yeah. <laughs> we're farming all the dreams out. Okay. okay. Sorry. It's not going to make any sense, but at least it's content. Be happy with what you got. <laughs> I can't Weird. talk about my dreams because it's struck work. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah good joke everyone <laughs> laugh in your headphones in your car that's a good joke <laughs> um all right it's my turn i'm gonna pick his crimes hey dumpers uh dylan's northeast ohio here grub said to call in and ask about his uh born ultimatum crime uh, instead of asking about his crimes, who cares about that? What is the crime you would most like to commit during Born Ultimatum? Uh, any, any fun heists related to Born Ultimatum you could think of? What? This born crimes. Tell me your born crimes. Love you, bye. Very good question. Explain yourself. He didn't ask about it. I don't have to answer. I don't have to answer to you. I uh, uh, I was a piece of shit. And it was uh, like, there was a couple year period where it was like pretty listless. And I, I was like looking for meaning. And um, and so I would so I'd occasionally like pick fights and stuff like that, but I, not a ton. I wasn't like, oh a, I was not like, like Mike Mahardy. Uh, but I would, um, I was at a party and at this party, it was this person's house and they treated one of my friends poorly. And so I went and I took their television. And I was not intending to keep it, but I did. I did take it, and like someone saw me, and I, I got like, I went home, I had it. I was like, okay, I'll sit on this for a couple of days, and then we'll just, I'll just drop it off or whatever. Uh, but no, someone saw me and 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 called the cops, so I just immediately like took it back and explained what what happened. Uh, and I was while, while this was happening, not on this television, I was watching The Born Ultimatum, and so I always associate the time when I uh, could have been in the most trouble ever with. Uh, watching the Born Ultimatum, so now I can't watch the Born Ultimatum anymore because I feel too guilty. How did you get the TV out of the party? Uh, it was this. It was like I went way, way back, like late that night, and there was no one there. I just walked in, took it, and walked you out. You broke it. No, 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 no. The, the, the door was open. The door was just open. You did a burglary. Oh yes, I did a burglary. Yes, yes, exactly. I think you buried the lead by not talking about the uh, breaking and entering. <laughs> well, it, it, the, the door was, I, mean, I just walked in. It was a party that I was entering. at. Or, or, it was just entering. Was party, okay. Yeah, just entering. Yes, exactly. Mm. But if no I, one was there anymore. The party was over. Yeah. You, you, you cased the joint hey. and then went back. Correct. Just got you there, bud. Yes. Hey, guilty. You got me. Yes. HD. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, it was an HD TV. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I was 20. Was I think it was like 20. Yeah. Uh, I don't like hearing stories like this. I do. Yeah. Well, listen, it's, it, background it, check it, wasn't it, good enough. Background, I can confirm. Worst thing I've ever done. So there you go. Oh, all yeah. right. That's, yeah. Okay. Cool. So that, you're back. You're back in good graces. Oh, the, 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 the guilt is still there. I'm like, why did I do that? That was really stupid because it wasn't like it was like the person who was hurting my friend uh, and and uh, like they were the bad person. It was their place, but it wasn't just their TV, which is why I oh, didn't intend to keep it. Oh, motive established. Yes, gotcha. exactly. Good. Yes. Uh, yeah, so it was done vindictively. This yes. was premeditated. Yeah. Yes, it was. Which carries a, a harsher sentence. Oh, yeah, wow. totally. Wow. I, uh, I think I actually scratched the TV taking it to, so I just paid, I gave him money to buy a new TV. So it was like, wow. it, and then I didn't get to keep the one I stole. It was the worst crime that's ever happened, by the way. Well, the worst crime you did was you bought your enemy a new TV? <laughs> yes. I never said I was a criminal genius. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it turns I think, out very bad at it. Oh, yeah. It's just, you hear these stories about people who you really like respect and look up to and like, it just. It, it sometimes you hear Jeff tell a story too. 
Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's this is one I've been sitting. I'm like, I'll probably never tell that story because it's not like there's no winners there. You know, it's just a yeah. It was a bonehead. Oh, no, there's move. one big loser though. <laughs> oh huh? yes, definitely. <laughs> Oh, boy. I never even got, I never even used the TV. It just sat there and I just was like, oh, that's annoying. That's just kind of in the way. So, oh, yeah. yeah, they'll be, they'll be lenient on you then. Just a trophy of your crimes. It, 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 uh, yeah. It was never like, oh, oh, I didn't use it. Don't do anything to me. It was just like, uh, I didn't even think about it at a certain point. I'm like, well, I got to go to work now. And then it came back and it's still there. And it's like, oh, okay. I got to do something with that eventually. So, yeah. Wow, okay. I guess we somehow have to impossibly pivot off of this. And Dan, you're going to let him in your house now? Oh, I'm, his, he's screwed. Oh, <laughs> you're just going to put these TVs back on the plane. Yeah. Figure that out. Yeah. Take the CRT on the plane. Put it under your everything's going to be like duct taped down and stuff. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is true. We all we all used to be big pieces of shit. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you're yeah. under tw- if you're under 25... Time. Odds are you're a yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. It's just that's what it is, right? I mean, uh, that's it. Um, I don't want to... I'm not trying to get more stories out of you, Dan, or Bailey. I'm just saying, like... I've never done anything wrong in my life. Yeah, you never committed a crime. Well, you're not Tamar Hussein. Well, he's the perfect angel, yes. Yeah, he's never committed a crime. <laughs> uh, all right. We went to chat for the next voicemail and chat chose keyboard. Yo guys, what's going on? This is Andrew from Richmond, and uh, the K key on my keyboard's starting to go out. Mm. So Jeff, you got five minutes. Put it on the clock, Jan, for him to sell me on either making a new keyboard myself or what keyboard I should buy. Thanks. You've got thirty oh. seconds. Well, that depends. Fuck, that depends on what you want to do, friend. Uh, you could also fix the keyboard you currently have as well. Did you ever think about that? If it's got a switch that comes out easily, or if you feel like doing a little bit of desoldering, you just replace that switch and you got a fixed keyboard. If you don't want to do any of that, uh, I would recommend a Keychron if you want like entry level customization. Check out those keys. 10 seconds left. And uh, yeah, I think that's where you should start a Keychron. Oh, it, that's what you told me to get, uh, Backlar, and I like it. There you go. Good All keyboard. done. All done. Well done. Didn't lose anybody. No, we're good. We fell asleep. We're all fell asleep a little. <laughs> keyboard current. What's your keyboard situation, Bailey? You want to talk about it? Um, I bought it on the internet. It looks bad and it works fine. Okay. Good Amazon review. Yeah. Yeah. Decent looks, Amazon review. What is that? Three stars? Is that a three out of five? That's a three. Uh, that sounds like a three. Something right? like that. It yeah. like. It like lights up a little or it's supposed to. It doesn't really. It's just, you know, it's a keyboard, whatever. They're all the same. All the letters work? Yeah, all the letters work. Most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what everyone says about keyboards. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, just like every car is the same. Yeah, pretty much. Every, every Go phone, forward. Every yeah. phone is the same, you know. All mom. Yeah. Not look, we are all in agreement. If there's one thing that's clear, we all agree. And we all agree that you, Bailey, should be picking the next voicemail. Shit. Okay. Um, how about very prestigious gaming dad? Dot dot dot. Okay. Hey, dumpers. This is Cagney from Austin. Um, I just wanted to call in and say my wife and I just found out we're pregnant. So hey. super excited. Aww. But I wanted to ask, I know we have some very prestigious gaming dads on the podcast. Um, what songs should I play? Gaming songs should I play for my new child in, in the womb just to you know, get him ready for the life of, of a gamer? Um, thanks. Love you guys. Bye. Uh, Fin Fendrana drifts from Metroid Prime. That's going to be a good one. Uh, just let him know that uh, things are eerie and mystical out there. Um, I don't I'm know. Chop Master Onion. Yes, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, the entire soundtrack of, of Ridge Racer Type Four. Go ahead, Bailey. Oh, if you start playing all of the Legend of Zelda songs now, you'll finish by the time the baby's coming out. Yep, good mm-hmm. point. It's exactly nine months worth of music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did that the- on purpose. 
in the womb, uh, an unborn child can only make out the sound of the underworld in Mario Brothers. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. So anything else you play will be for no reason. Um, we know this through vigorous testing. Uh, yeah, the baby kicking motion is. is exactly like the Mario swim. Like, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's only do 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 That's it. That's all that works. Who knows how brains and babies work, but that's what we know to be true. Congratulations on your pregnancy. I hope it goes very smooth and easy and all that jazz. At what oh, point? Oh, and you should make the baby listen to Simple and Clean from Kingdom Hearts. No. No. That's how over you make a mic over and over and over again. Yeah, listen to my cover version yeah. of it that Dan made me sing during the High Roll Hustle. Go. That's the one you make him listen the to. The cool guy version. The cool yes. dude version, exactly. Yes. By a criminal. Well, that's that's yeah. the good stuff. Uh, I, I, it, at what point in the womb? Does a baby have a brain to even no like fucking it? You can, you can look that up. Okay. You, so you're saying you don't know, uh, Dr. Bacalar? Some it's babies just... never get one. <laughs> <laughs> you too born without a brain? Not born. No, no. In the womb. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then. Because like you don't start with a brain. Like it's a zygote. It's like a couple of things. Uh, I feel I like we had a missed opportunity. Bacalar, go ahead, Bacalar. No, we just had like a missed opportunity there where we could have. I'm the same for you. Sorry, go ahead, knock bad. it out of the. My bad. Let's do it. We just, we just could. I, I think here's what I think we could have made you believe. I think we could have made you believe that babies' brains are just like not there yet. Well, they're not there yet. But like, I don't know. Uh, we could have had some fun there if we really worked it. And they really were all about stupid, it. like objectively. Oh yeah. 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 Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. Babies like, are the stupidest motherfuckers alive. That mm -hmm. thing can't even count. Are babies I mean, stupider look, than dogs? Because like my dogs are real fucking. Yeah, yeah, dogs. yeah, yeah. It's the, a dog is about as stupid as like yeah. a four two, to six year old. Two or three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A dog knows its name. Does a baby? Probably no. not. No, no. Babies are stupid because they don't even like do anything besides no. breathe on their own no. out of the womb. Like, mm -hmm. like no. uh, you, a deer gives birth, the fucking things run around mm -hmm. that minute. Run around. It didn't learn. It didn't crawl first. Baby spiders are born knowing how to spin perfect webs, and you're telling me that human <laughs> babies don't even know how to use a toilet? Ew. <laughs> Control your butt. Ideally, a baby should be cooking for at least another year, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, how, like, like I would in imagine, the stomach? I yeah. would imagine, yeah, no, no, in the oven, yeah. In yeah. stomachs. Would you developed if you did that? I if think you could, like, the opposite of induce? Would you, I like, remember, oh, I remember. oh, no. No, the body doesn't no. want it to be in there any longer. Yeah, it's the 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 evolutionary process made it so that this is the time, and you know, like presumably, that's it. That's yeah, the, the perfect the, the time. The stress is on it's the just, body at a certain point. Would just be like, no, thank you. This has got to oh, go. Yeah. Size -wise, size -wise, I didn't think about that, but yeah, obviously, the baby would get bigger. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, the first year the baby can grow in the uterus, and then the second year the baby can grow in whatever the dude version of that is, the urethra. Yeah, the urethra. <laughs> that's where we should put. Yeah, but. much bigger. Mm. Yeah, that seems only fair to me. I want to do that. You did say <laughs> tummy, though, right? You were like. The baby's in the tummy. Tum tum. My tum tum. Uh, Danny boy, you're up. Mike tweeting. Hey, y'all. It's uh, Villain Mac. Um, I've seen Mike tweeting a lot, and he's supposed to be on a boat. And I can't help but think he's uh, the caricature of um, Forza Horizon. And that he's on social media. <laughs> Can is is he doing it right? I don't understand this. So okay, so uh, Mike Minani's on a vacation. He went on mm -hmm. a boat that's taking him to Disney because that's what a Disney adults do. Uh, but he's he's tweeting a lot as if he were a person attending the Forza Horizon Motor Fest, and where they're just like. Oh my God! I'm on social media. I'm, I'm at a car festival. Look at me, because that the whole those whole games are just like that. Oh, you there? You got so many followers on social media. So they're saying, is Mike Minotti behaving like an NPC in Forza Motor Motorfest, Motor Zone, Motor Zone? I 
just really love that like those boats do not just have internet. You have to pay an exorbitant amount of money in order to oh. get the internet package that he's using to tweet his opinions about the Legend of Zelda movie. <laughs> oh, and wow. his goofy medals. Yeah. Yeah, stealing them from kids, yeah. He didn't pay apparently. Wow. I, I wouldn't be surprised that Disney boats just like these we gotta give these idiots the internet or else they're gonna go insane. Nope. Does that Disney have like a, is there like a frequent flyer like Disney program where it's like sort does Mike of. just have a bunch of point like Mickey points or something that give him free yeah, internet? He the, probably sure. has Mickey points because they definitely do charge money on the Disney Mickey bucks. Okay. I didn't I didn't have internet for like several days and I was like this sucks. Why do people live like this? <laughs> The so it's like when we you got like, to Mexico, I was like, thank God, civilization. Now I can check Twitter. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you get like gold medallion if you fly enough and you can get like free upgrades. And like that that's Mike with Disney stuff, right? Uh, I mean, it depends. I mean, I don't uh, He might have like a Disney credit card, uh, oh, but there's also like the Disney vacation group or something like that. I, I can't remember what it's called. Yes, the club. Vaca the, yeah, DVC, yes. The timeshare thing that they do. Right, and that yeah. has, there's definitely points involved with that, but, Dan, but, but Mike doesn't there, have that. I think, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. gets like a free show from Donald on the boat or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah. listen, the more times you get your picture taken with Donald, the more bucks you can spend in the company mm -hmm. store. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. The costumes are Wi-Fi hotspots. Everyone knows that. <laughs> okay, he's, uh, he's, got, he's got bad internet for free. You can get, you can pay for real internet, but it's okay for tweet uh, for tweeting. He says so. Has Mike been anywhere else? Than yeah. Disney? Well, I mean, for work, he's been to a bunch of places where he eventually went to Disney <laughs> once he was there. He went to Euro <laughs> Disney uh, because there there was uh, an event in wherever the hell Euro Disney is. Uh, I think they call it Disney France. Paris now. Yeah, France, <laughs> uh, and then um. I don't think he did that. Where you did that somewhere else, right, Mike? Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, but he's been to a few places. Yeah, I've seen every Disneyland park in this whole wide world. Mm. I, right. I would like to go to Disney Sea, which is like the. Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard it's amazing. Yeah, like everyone loves all super the love it. theme park people are like, that's the best one. Mm -hmm. it, it, there's no competition. What mm -hmm. is it? It's like it's a sea and ocean and aquatic themed Disney that is run by a different company but licensed uh, from Disney in Japan. Oh wow! Yes. Yeah, so and there's it, Tokyo Disney and then Tokyo Disney Sea, and Tokyo Disney Sea has the Sinbad ride, and I want to go on. Yeah, that's cool. All right, it's on the list. Um. All right, Jeff Grubb, you are up, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jan asked for this one. He said, "Please play this one." He said we could do it. He said we could do it if we know how to sing. He said we he, he said we could do it if yep. we know how to sing. Jeff yeah. Aguilar, Jeff Aguilar, Jeff Aguilar, Jeff Aguilar, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Aguilar, Jeff Aguilar, Jeff Aguilar. Nice. Pony Yellow? It's probably Bone Yellow, right? I think so. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I mean, let's that... show Bob out of prison again, huh? Is that, <laughs> <laughs> is that, Al... is that Alex? Uh, it was it like very it. good. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. See, like, who does? who's going to be like, oh, no, bleh, bleh. I don't want to hear someone sing beautifully. Of course. Call in. You can sing like that. You call us twice a day. You know? Uh, what, what song was that? I don't know. What was that? I mean, I know. Look, we all know what it was. <laughs> what, what, what was that? I, I, do, I did think it was from uh, a musical, like a Broadway musical, but I don't. I it don't. seemed. Op I thought it was the Godfather. Op operatic? I, uh, yeah, operatic? For, I thought it was Godfather for a little bit, but it's not. By the time it was over, I don't think it was. Um it's, is yeah. that the right word? Operatic? Operatic, yeah. Yeah. Operatic? Yeah. It did sound like like you had died and he was like singing mournfully. Oh, we will be playing your that at your funeral and yeah, for like everyone of your birthdays until like your funeral. A black and white photo portrait of me somewhere yeah. there. <laughs> Fading in and out. We should do for uh Game of the year, we should just do an in memoriam and just have you in there and just be like, he's not dead, but just this song is just too good. We gotta play it. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be comfortable with that. Yeah, uh, go poor sport. Yeah, I'm a party pooper. <laughs> uh, it's just my own fake funeral is all. Well, you get to attend your own funeral that way, and then you get to see all yeah. the nice things people are going to say about you. 
What is it? Isn't that a thing people do? It was a bit in uh, is that a Curb. curb thing? It was a Curb. curb. Okay, yes. curb, curb. Was it Marty yeah. Funkhauser or something? Yeah, no, it was um, Albert Brooks. Oh, yeah. right. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Who is oh. still alive, right? I think Albert so. Brooks is alive. His brother is is just passed. That was That's... Marty Funk. That was Bob exactly. Einstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yeah. Dave. Yeah. Yes, yes. Look, Larry. That guy, yeah. Um, I love him. All right. Uh, it's my turn. I'm going to change your name. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to change your name. Your name to voice now comes Wait, wait, wait. wait. Just let, let me just get, you're going to change your name, 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 name to boy, 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 voice now, ma'am, 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 Come, 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 truck. Mike, my come truck. Mike, Mike. Well, you're going to change your name to come truck. Mike, my come truck. My come truck. Well, well, you're going to change your name. You're going to change. Wait, let's just get this straight. You're going to, Mike, you're going to change your name to come truck. <laughs> I that don't remember art. what this is a reference to. That was art, by the way. <laughs> okay, everything that happened just there. I feel like we had multiple actors. Uh -huh. Like that was oh, yeah. beautifully choreographed. Like everything there was very, very good. So kudos, beautifully done. Thank you, caller. Truly mean that. That was very good. Uh, just to be clear, though, we have never once flirted with the idea of changing the name of this show. He kept let saying Mike, right? That. It was working. It was like layered, uh, Jeff. It was okay. You should listen to that by yourself maybe three or four more times. Oh, yeah. There's no, a no. lot of That's different pockets. That's my evening, definitely. <laughs> there were a lot of different pockets there to, to, to pick, you know? I know. Really the voicemail nice. come truck rebrand, I think, could, could it might have legs. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know. Wheels, I, I guess. Sure. That's what it drives yeah. on. That's what yeah. it's powered by. <laughs> Guess the T-shirt does look like cum. <laughs> I think about it. Yeah, anyway. your, your your thoughts are being spoken out loud again, Bacalar. Yep. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that. Uh, that's not our problem. Um, all right, this is uh, we're gonna, we're getting to the last couple here. Chat uh, chat turn chat chose Jeff Grub that MP3. <clears throat> Jeff Grubb, let's go game this morning since the internet, I know you're busy. Jeff Grubb, living in Ohio with the gimmicks and he drives a Nissan. <laughs> it's Jeff Grubb, smoking weed with Nicholas Shea. <laughs> Nicholas Shea, Nicholas Shea. Ooh, see, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. there we go, sorry about that. See, like, I'm never going to get mad at that. Never going to get mad yeah. at that. That was impressive, yeah. Good, uh, good, I, wanted him to, I wanted him to keep like saying things like facts about you, and I wanted it to get really creepy. Yes. Like it ends with your social security uh -huh. number. <laughs> yeah. sure, sure. Here's where you were at 7:57 <laughs> p.m. last night. It's like, oh, <laughs> we, just, we, we, we didn't see the air, but it's all Jeff Grubb facts. Uh huh. Yeah, deeply <laughs> disconcerting. Um. Didn't you, you guys voted like something about weed, right? We did a good job here in Ohio. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did we, good stuff, right? Yeah, we, pa yeah, we passed legal weed, and but uh, we passed uh, a, a constitutional defend uh, defense yes. for uh, abortion. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we it was surprising how easily these things passed. So yeah, way to be fucking normal. Yes. Okay. I, I was like legit surprised because I left Ohio because it was not normal. Now I'm back and it's kind of getting normal again. So it's nice. Saw definitely a glimmer of hope with the normies of the world last night. Like, oh my god, actually normal people doing normal ass things, yeah. rejecting abnormal bullshit. So way to be, nice. way to be, yep. way to be. I, I uh, the, the the legal weed thing. I didn't even know it was uh, up for a vote until I saw a commercial during football of just the most stick up his ass sheriff I've ever seen coming on TV and be like, we gotta vote no for issue two if we do. And I, he, basically, he, he, the short version is he's like, I won't be able to arrest black people for no reason anymore. It's like, okay. I, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Yeah, I see what's <laughs> happening here. I'm like, I'm voting yes on that shit. Thanks for telling me about it, sir. So yeah, yeah, it passed. Good. We're the doing good here. The next ad was like, if we don't pass this weed thing, Jeff's gonna leave again. <laughs> yes. Everyone <laughs> turned out in overwhelming numbers. Yep, that's right. I, can, I'm, wow. I move mountains. You're doing good work. Thank You're you. Good Very work. exciting. Um, all right. So now I think all of us live in weed legal places, right? I love that mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. Right? We did it. it. Seems, like a, seems like a positive thing. Way to go, team. Good job, everybody. And if uh, you can't smoke weed where you live, I don't know. 
move. Move. Move to where the weed is. <laughs> uh, all right. We only got a couple more here. Probably going to finish them off. Bailey, you're up. Um, I guess we got to do hi from last night. Okay. Hi. So it's 3 a.m. Uh, I'm still high from the last night, and I couldn't go back to sleep. Mm. What do you like to do when you can't go back to sleep? Also, this voice of the Trojan horse. Jeff, Jeff, Grub. Jeff, Jeff, Grub. Jeff, Jeff, Grub. Jeff, Jeff, Grub. Mike Manai, back a lot. Dan Wright, Gerd, Belly Myers, and my five fans, Jan Ocho. We got Lucy James, Tamar Hussein, and whatever fucking guests they got for the day. Mike <laughs> Manai, Jeff, Grub, Grub. Jeff, Jeff, Grub. Mike Manari Giant Bomb. Thank you. That was way better than I thought it was going to be when it started. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. I, was like, I, I love like... hearing my name in it. I now understand why you guys are so into this. It's, <laughs> it's fun. I want to make it clear. Uh, yeah. I didn't pick these, just to make it clear. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, Jan sure, did sure, this. Sure. Yeah. Um, this is great because like you said, Grub, really off the rails. I thought this was going out of the gate and somehow stuck the landing. Well yeah, played, he, he carried the tune is what it was. So I like assume, really quickly understood what it was. And then he like maintained it throughout in a way that I just would not have been able to. So impressive. Yep. Very good job. Uh, again, be careful with these. Okay. You've been warned. Just be careful with these. Oh yeah. See, you see what's acceptable. You see what's not. Just be careful. That's all we're saying. My friends, we are well on our way to a dump deluxe. Um, and uh, Dan and Grub, you're going to have the choice of the last two. So, Dan, which one first? Dude, what happened there? Hey, uh, Mr. Bacalar, uh, what happened there? It's like, it's like we might have beat you guys six to three. Like, like maybe the Devils just can't keep up with the sheer size strength and athleticism of the Colorado Avalanche. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> For real, though, that game was sick. It was uh, so violent. Kind of sick, though. I had fun. And uh, fuck the Red Wings forever. I hate you, Jeff Grubb. Red Wings what suck. What the fuck? Okay, yeah. Well, I didn't expect the collateral yeah, damage. Yeah, we just got our asses kicked. Leave us alone. Yeah, relax, everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, Look, I, as much as, like, it's fun to have this podcast be uh, a repository for hockey fans around the country to just throw shade when your when your cute little team beats up my team. Uh, <laughs> what do you want me to What do you want me to say? Okay, what do you want me to say? It was a weird fucking game, and what's his face got thrown out of it because he's a piece of shit. Claude the Mew came back. I <laughs> know Scott Stevens. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke just for you, Bacalar. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're no, welcome. We can't just make it about hockey. Uh, that'd be like making this whole website about wrestling, and nobody wants that. <laughs> no. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll pivot on and we'll say, yeah, it was not it was not great. It was not a great showing by by my boys in red. But uh, season's young, okay. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. All right, you ready Get for the last one? Time. Let's do it. Birmingham, Alabama. MP3. Hey, so I live in Birmingham, Alabama. Love it here. Big fan of the city. Um, I saw a band play a concert here. They're called Black Midi. Uh, they're a British band. And about halfway through the concert, the uh, lead singer went on a little little rant about how much cooler our Birmingham is than the UK's shitty little Birmingham. So uh, oh. take that. British Birmingham guy. I mean, that's got to feel good. I think uh, this is where the city beef should live is on this podcast, right? Voicemail dump yeah. truck is where people complaining about other cities or saying their city is better than this other one that has the same mm -hmm. name. You should go, you guys should be calling in with more of that stuff. That That's just got to feel good. That's like vindication there, right? Like that's got to feel real nice. I'm happy for you, Birmingham, Alabama. I, um, Rob, did you did you vape halfway through that voicemail? No, no, no. It's not vapor. It's uh, so it's powdering of some sort. I, I don't know what's in here. Asbestos. Oh, you got a four pack. Oh, you got a four pack. Look at that. Yeah, it's oh, uh, it's cool. the it's my toy cigarettes from my oh. profession. 
from my, my <laughs> from, from my just my daily work. This is just, just I need the these road. things to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> expensive fake cigarettes. Really? The fandom for those fake cigarettes. There's yes. there's two a pack, but there's a whole bunch of packs in here. Is what it is. So I got enough oh, to wow. last me. I smoke, you know, I smoke a pack a day, so... Daddy good. needs a stash. The, it's going to be the rest of the year that, that Sirius is going, so I wanted to make sure he didn't have any soggy fake cigarettes. Yes, I appreciate that, because they oh, get boy. soggy pretty quickly. So oh, oh, wait. Are yes. they... They're like paper? Yeah, I mean, they they feel pretty similar to what I imagine. I got to hell to say right before. They feel like a real <laughs> cigarette. Uh, <laughs> what are you, in church? What do you mean? I don't, listen, I don't want to say that it's going to make me look bad on this podcast. He's Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I would I imagine a cigarette would look and taste and smell like. I, not that I would ever my, know. My well, delicate, okay. untarnished fingers are for burglary. Thank you. Exactly. I got to keep my crack. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep my wits about me when I'm stealing TVs. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a oh, perfect way to end it. Thank you, Jeff Grubb. Oh, yeah, no problem. Needed that. Um, Bailey Myers, the one and the only, thank you so very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You okay? Shout out to that guy. Yeah, shout out to that guy in the chat right before this who went, Oh, Bailey's on, enjoy the dump truck. <laughs> like, like, hey, man. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like that's, being here too. You're right. That's <laughs> it. Uh, get fucked, that guy. Uh, Dan Riker, thank you, sir. Anytime. Jeff Grubb. Thank you, you Bachelor. A dump deluxe. We'll see you next time. All right, we can bring ourselves back up. Actually, let me end YouTube first. Uh, restream YouTube.